Hey, this is Eric with CartoonLearning.com. I had a request for a tutorial on the uh, Follow Path tool. And for anybody who doesn't know what that is, Anime Studio version 7, Debut and Pro, released this Follow Path tool that allows you to draw a line, and then whatever object you want in your scene can actually follow that line rather than uh, creating points along the way and animating each and every frame. Um, it, you can just set places on the line that you want things to happen at certain times and it'll happen. I'll explain it all in a second. But first I want you to see, I created these three different things over here in my layers tree. I've got a jet, which looks a little bit remotely like a jet. I just drew it up real quick. Then uh, an add points line and then a solid line. And I just wanted you to see those up close before I switch over to the other view. Okay, so here we are. We have this thing that looks a little bit like a jet. And then this is the line I added with the Add Points tool, which is right here. The benefit of adding a line this way is that when you do your render, which is uh, Control-R, the final product oops, is actually not going to show this line. Um, any lines added with Add Point, it, it's just not going to render, which is what you want. This other line, which is my solid line, would render, except I came over here, double-clicked the layer, and then checked the box for don't render this layer. So if you're going to draw a line with a solid line, make sure you check this box right here. Okay. Um, all right, so the next thing to do is we will grab, we'll highlight the, the jet layer, because that's the layer we want to follow our line. Then we're going to come over here to the follow path thing. And I'm actually going to just click on the beginning of this line to set it. Now all I have to do is come down here in my timeline. It's going to start on frame 0. And then I'm going to go to frame, let's say, uh, 78. And I'm going to click again on the end of the line. Somewhere in there just to set it. Now if I come down here, oops, let me change my camera view real quick. All right, if I come down here in the timeline and scroll through it, you'll see that the jet is going to follow the line. All right, now here's the key thing. Um, this is kind of hard to see. I'll zoom way in. Here's my origin point. When I made the jet, I made him pointing straight up, and then the origin point actually points straight up. Uh, so here are my two axes, and the one that points up is the one that's going to follow the path. So... Now what I can do is actually come over here, double click the jet layer, and then click rotate to follow path. Click OK. And what's going to happen is, uh, like I said, it's going to follow the line and it's going to follow it in the direction of that arrow. So uh, I'll show you what I mean here. But um, if I scroll back through this, the jet is going to follow the line perfectly. And then the same thing if I wanted to, let's see, I'll delete uh, I'll delete these. If I wanted to start over, I could make the jet follow that solid line just by clicking the layer, click the follow line tool, and then click the beginning of that line. And then um, if you don't want everything to happen at the same speed, I'll show you how to adjust that. All right, basically, if you don't want everything to happen at the same speed, uh, we could come down here to frame 12, click on it, and then we could set our jet. Let's say he only made it uh, an inch this way. Um, and then we come down here to frame 24, just half a second later, and um, we could make him go all the way to this point. So then, if we scroll back through the animation, in the first 12 frames, he's only going this fast. And then from frame 12 to 24, he's going that fast. So I hope this made sense. I hope you get it. If you have any questions, just uh, ask them on this page on cartoonlearning.com. Thanks. See ya.